So I thought it'd be interesting to show you some different leaves because uh, I have somebody in my class who has this wide variety of different plants. And so I thought these would be kind of cool because not everybody has seen these. Um, this leaf is about a foot long. It is a dicot and we know because of the branching veins. And if you were here to actually touch it, you could feel that it is fuzzy. So it has these trichomes to protect it. But kind of cool that it's that large. Um, I also have, they brought me something called a Swiss cheese plant uh, for obvious reasons. It has those holes uh, and it can grow very, very large. In fact, I'm going to show you an even larger one. A massive leaf. This one is the leaf of a Siam tulip. And again, it's another one that is velvety uh, when you touch it. This one is part of something called Moses in a basket. And it's because its flowers can actually sit inside here. So it's as if they put a baby in the basket. This is another large leaf. It belongs to a philodendron. And uh, these guys can grow on fences. Very pretty, ornate. You can see the waxy cuticle on it. Um, the underneath side is not quite as darkly green, but still pretty waxy. So this leaf. Um, is called the heart of Jesus and Corazón de, de Jesús. And it's called that because of the red that runs through the center of it, just like the whole purpose of, of Christ is really to die for our sins on the cross. And uh, the idea that God has painted his story of his son, even in nature. We read in Romans that it says even that the rocks cry out to God. And in this case, this leaf seems to cry out the story of Jesus. And this leaf comes from the rubber plant, which makes like a white epoxy, um, or a white resin rather, not epoxy, white resin. It's kind of sticky, but again, a very large leaf. And this one to me seems like a white poplar. It's very, very fuzzy. It's a species of cottonwood. Um, these trees can grow 52 to 89 feet in height, but it just feels really soft to the touch. I think that that's what this one is. And then these are uh, very decorative plants. They're called crotons. Got a couple different species of them here. Beautiful red color to the leaf. And this one is another one with a very beautiful color to it, the tea plant. And I believe that this has Hawaiian uh, background to it. And a lot of people will grow this plant because they believe it's going to give them positive energy and bring them luck and happiness. Um, it's also known as the good luck plant. Very beautiful. And this one is a morito. Um, it is a type of calabash tree. I believe it is Mexican in origin. Kind of pretty though, right? It's got these interesting leaf patterns. And this is another huge leaf. It is West Indian balsa. Uh, it's a cork wood. It's got a very beautiful veining pattern to it. And it grows very quickly and can grow up to 98 feet tall. Okay, the last couple, I'm not going to necessarily give you their names. I'm just going to show you that there's so many different types of leaves. Some of them have these jagged edges. Some have multiple leaves off the main stem. 
just thought that it was kind of cool to see all the varieties. There's so many different plants out there with all kinds of different leaves that I thought you would find interesting. This one actually has some really rough ridges on the side to protect itself. I believe this one is bamboo. And then there's one here that smells of lemon. <laughs> no, you can't smell it. Um, but it is bay rum. So I hope you like this. Maybe you saw a plant you never knew about.